So yeah, it's funny because when I first started picking up guitar, going back to the whole Kiss thing, I didn't even want to be a guitarist. I wanted to be doing, well, I wanted to be a drummer, but my brother wanted to be a drummer and he was older, so he got to be the drummer. And I wanted to be, I wanted to do what Gene Simmons was doing. He was a bass player, so I wanted to be a bass player. So first I went, I wanted to be a drummer, then I wanted to be a bass player. But I was just too young, I was a little tiny six-year-old kid, and there's no way I'd be able to handle, they didn't have any kid basses uh, at the store I went to for lessons and to buy gear and everything. So they told me that in order to be a bass player, you need to play a little tiny acoustic guitar for two years, and then you graduate up to, to bass. I was like, all right, if that's what I gotta do. So I started playing guitar. And I didn't think about it, and I didn't feel like I was missing anything or just waiting for the opportunity to switch to bass. I kind of forgot about it. It was more about making songs, and it was a tool to make music. And that's what I realized, or maybe I didn't realize it, I just, that's what was going on. It wasn't so much about the instrument, it was about the act of making music and you know, just putting music out there by whatever weapon you have. So I was singing songs I was writing and I was playing my little mini acoustic guitar I had. And from there you start getting into more, you start noticing other guitar players and what they're doing and what the guitar players of different bands are. And you start developing the sense of, you know, guitar heroes and inspirations and things like that. So in the beginning it was definitely Ace Frehley because everything he wrote in a Kiss song was the part of the song that you sang. It wasn't even the vocal part, it was his guitar solo. You know, you don't necessarily go, get up, get down. You go, da 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 That was it. That was the beautiful melodic part of the songs. He did that. Uh, so yeah, Ace was a big one. Angus Young, so much energy and... Yeah, so I would have band practice as a 10-year-old kid and everyone would be playing and I would just be just jumping around the room and just like spitting and, and just, yeah. I remember I actually got fired from my own band for being too like crazy and, and it screwed me up for a long time. I, I remember I was 10 years old and they said that I was just too over the top. Because I was all over the place. Angus, he just had me, you know, just jumping around the room and, and freaking out and, you know, just so much energy. Such a little 10-year-old showman. And then I got fired from my own band and it just put me in the shell for years. Uh, or maybe even decades. I think it, that actually changed a lot. It made me just more introverted and just more of a shoegazing, stare at your feet and just focus on your playing kind of thing. But Angus was a big one. Uh, you know, I was a huge, huge Zeppelin fan and Queen fan, so of course Brian May and Jimmy Page. Uh, and then things started changing. I heard Eddie Van Halen when I was 12. And next thing you know, it's like, what's this thing? I didn't know you could do that with your fingers. I thought you had to hold the pick and you had to play like this and you had to, and there were rules. And next thing you know, I'm realizing that there aren't rules to, to art or music or anything. You know, if anything, you gotta break the rules. You have to make new rules by breaking the old ones and just, you know, just challenging your own creative boundaries and getting past those. And I started getting into that and I started coming up with my own weird tricks. I mean, look at this thing. I got this fretless guitar here. I play with a thimble on my finger to get more notes once you've passed the, the neck. And I do... So, things like that. And I think that happened from Eddie Van Halen. In the sense of not necessarily mimicking what he was doing, but realizing that you, know, you can challenge yourself and you don't have to keep it all within the confines of, of just the usual way of doing things. Uh, so yes, thanks Eddie. Uh, thanks for making me weird. And from there I started getting into more, I guess the intellectual side of guitar playing and really getting into more of, of the math behind it and, and the, uh, 
the music theory and getting into jazz and classical. And from there, when that happens, and you're combining it with metal and looking at other players that do that, start getting into to Randy Rhodes, who was like the perfect mesh and meld of classical into metal. But then suddenly you're taking it one step further. I remember getting uh, Zalmo, this new guy out there, uh, in this band called Steeler with the singer Ron Keel, and and this this Swedish dude that's just you know doing all this this you know harmonic minor uh, classical inspired. From there, and, and he joins the band Alcatraz, and I was learning those solos note for note. Uh, that that big vibrato and the harmonies, and still remember all those solos note for note. His signature riffs, I just, you know, you knew it was him. Those things. So I just spent so much time just dropping the needle for not normally it would be like three seconds. You listen to something, drop it for three seconds, you have it in your head, and then you go to your guitar and you play it, and then you do the next, you know, couple of seconds, and that's how you learned songs back then. But with this guy, it's like you drop it for half a second, and it's like it's like okay and get that down and then the next and get that down I mean it was such a challenge and, and it was such he made guitar players grow and he did something that I mean he took it to a whole other level man did he raise the bar and I just sat around just just trying to get all I mean thanks to him definitely Ingve made me really work on on technique a lot, not just, you know, making the experimental stuff, but really... Yeah, so Ingve was a huge inspiration.